The Koji form circle has several variants. This is the chasing legs variant, where all the legs inside the circle are facing the same direction. The cross legs variant is covered in a separate video. To build a circle, you'll make a series of link modules that you'll then chain together. You'll need a work surface that's about six feet long to build the circle. Gather 14 left facing and 14 right facing Y parts. You can also build this with 16 of each which yields a more loose and flexible circle. Set up your parts like this in the point up stance. To begin, take one left and one right facing Y and place them in mirror symmetry like this. Now you'll cross the hooks over the arms in this specific pattern. This is the link module, which you're going to repeat and chain together to form the circle. Here's a different view. Begin by engaging the mouth hook of the Y part that's farthest from you, then the tail hook of the part that's nearest you. Now let's make a second link module. Using one left and one right facing Y, the parts must be connected the same way each time so the modules come out identical. To make them identical, just follow the same rule each time. Start with the part that's farthest from you and bring the mouth hook up and over. Then engage the tail hook on the nearer part. Check these junctures to assure that your modules are identical. You might make a mistake and engage the two parts in the opposite pattern, like this. These two modules don't match and they can't be linked together, which is the next step in the process. Now I'll correct this so that the links are identical. When you have two identical link modules, you can now chain them together by bringing the free hooks toward each other. Engage them over the free arms to form a diamond shaped linkage. You're going to continue this process with all 28 parts. And a reminder that you need a work surface that's about six feet long to complete this. Now before you have a six foot long chain, it's good to practice lifting and handling the chain with a shorter segment like this. When you pick up the chain, you need to keep some tension in the system or it tends to disengage. There are actually some interesting things you can build with a chain section like this. So you can come back and experiment with this after the circle is built. Here I'm keeping tension by pressing the two ends toward each other. With all the link modules chained together, it will be time to lift both ends and make the final diamond shaped linkage, which will be inside out. It's great to work with a partner on this because you can each lift one end of the long chain. When you do try to lift the ends, it's not unusual to completely lose the structure. The parts will fly loose and you'll need to start all over again. It takes some practice to get the hang of this, so don't be discouraged. When lifting, you roll the parts up and off the table while keeping some downward pressure in the chain. Don't be afraid to flex the chain a bit. Once you bring up the other end, you'll make the final diamond shaped linkage. Be careful here that you don't pinch your fingers when you make that final connection. You'll need to press down firmly on one side to get the last hook engaged, just like this. The circle is now very stable and it can stand on its own. It can even roll across the floor, but please only roll it on a carpeted floor. When you want to take the circle apart, Take any hook within a diamond linkage and pull firmly toward the inside of the circle to disengage the linkage. 